rolling Sonic cell. This little box is a beast and then some. So to summarize it, if you're ever looking for a Phantom X and you couldn't afford the workstations, I mean, they're over a grand right now, but you lost for that sound of Roland, that, the 2006 sound Roland slash five, this is really an actual Phantom X in a box. 120 ounce polyphony, three effects blocks plus two chorus um, MFXs, reverb and chorus. Um, and it's got the full sound engine from the flagship Phantom X. You just can't beat it. And the price, um, you know, this is just not well known, so it's not real expensive. But the Phantom Xs are well over a grand now, the X6. So, and the Phantom X is, uh, um, you know, sad to, to say um, they, they suffer from screen burn. And so uh, as of today, my last checking, you still can't go buy a replacement screen for the Phantom XR. So, you know, I really recommend to stay away from those. I've had at least three of those and the screens have all burned out on them. So, but if you're looking for that sound, this is it. <laughs> I mean, it's just there, and there, it's the same. It's the same sound that's in. Matter of fact, uh, and what they gave you. So I have to be in patch mode right now. If I click here, these two buttons, I'm in multi mode. In some cases, it's it's not much of a downgrade with the small screen because I can just go to, let's say I wanna to go to part two and pick a sound. You just hit here and now I'm in part two. And you, you even got a dedicated um, um, preview button. Right? So if I'm looking for a bass, I can lock it or I can do category search, um, like find whatever, all the acoustic guitars or whatever I need, mallets, keyboards. So go find an electric piano, I just lock it, click it again, and I'm off to the races. Let's see here. Put myself on channel two. Okay. So it just sounds, it is a Phantom X in the box. Um, if I click here again, now I'm in what they call classic patch mode. If I wanna go into the effects, uh, that's what it looks like, the routing page. And so all you do is click on whatever you click on and you press, opens it up, hit exit. So if I wanna change the multi effects, I gotta reverse delay. Uh, if I want a different delay, I can do a shuffle delay. Let's see, go back to sound one. Put the MIDI channel here. <laughs> Shuffle delay. Again, you can go down any one of the. Here's a 3D delay. And you, if you want to change any of these parameters, you just select it, and you can select it to whatever and change whatever. Uh, if you're in multi mode, uh, it's a little bit different because uh, it to address the multi effects they give you in multi mode. So you get basically three effects in multi mode, just like on the Phantom. I can change the structures. So these are your, you know, you can route them in serial, parallel, in these different blocks. This is all serial, repositioning the, the different multi effects. Okay. Just like on the Phantom X. Okay. And then if I want to go and change any one of these effects, and there you go. And then there, and there's your equalizer um, output levels. And then. Uh, how much bleed you want to the uh, the MFX, of course, and reverb. So, this guy is a monster of a beast. Um, if I can go in the patch, and I'm now in the rhythm kits. Um, I've got, um, you know, the basic fan. These are fan kits and then I can go into um, I happen to have two cards in here so I've got um, the 
the um, SRX Vintage card, classic keys card, and then I also got uh, in here uh, the SRX uh, uh, drum kits. These are really good. And you got the you got the previews you can just click and whatnot so you know there's not a lot basically to it uh other than the fact that you get the killer phantom sound and the space saving i mean in the in the in the uh desktop i mean you can throw this in a book bag and be on the road with it uh and it's got all the features in it like I said, and, and you can dive as deep as you want. So, for example, um, if I'm in patch and I'm in, let's see. Let's see, I'm going to go unlock this. So I'm just going to go and find a, this brass sound. So let's just say I want to go in here and edit the sound and, and change the release. For example, I just go down to edit right here, go to general, and I'm in the attack offset, so I can go into the release. Can change the attack offset. Basically that fast. That's very uh, fast, in my opinion, based on how limited these controls actually are. Um, and then you can hit the menu and go right and write this preset in if you want. And you just change the name and all that. And, if, and then when you say uh, write, was well, kind of cool. So if I go into here and hit write, let's see. Check this out. You can actually preview what you're writing over which is really cool and then you hit write and hit select to write it so very clever uh piece um phantoms are going up through the the price of the used phantom x's are just like going up incredible so if you're looking for that phantom x classic sound look no further than the sonic cell Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, peace out.